A very good morning to all present here. I, Sarvagya Dev Thapliyal, Head Boy of YPS and Secretary General YPS MUN 2022, on behalf of the entire YPS fraternity, feel honored to welcome you all for the Yadavindra Public School Model United Nations 2022. A very gracious welcome to all the distinguished guests, our special teacher escorts, and all delegates. An honor for us here at YPS is to have teams from around 32 schools and individual delegation from 10 different schools to be a part of this conference. We hope the delegates boarding both inside and outside the school premises are comfortably settled. We assure you that the next three days will be memorable ones and you will carry back with you fond and beautiful moments of time spent in our lush green campus of 43 acres of this iconic institution that soon turns 75. YPS MUN 2022 is a part of the YPS at 75 celebrations, and we are overwhelmed to share this milestone with you all. As we await the arrival of the chief guest, I'll apprise you with today's schedule. The opening ceremony gets over by 11 o'clock. Thereafter, we shall proceed for tea in the front lawns. At 11.30 sharp, we start with our first session. Delegates are requested to kindly reach the committee venues on time. The first session gets over at 1.30 p.m., after which we move for lunch in the central dining hall. For your convenience, we shall move for lunch in phases. We will have our student escorts to guide you. We start with the second session at 2.30 p.m., which then gets over by 4 p.m. It will be followed by tea in the gazebos, which are right behind the main school building. The third, the third session will begin at 4.30 p.m., and will get over by 6.30 p.m. We have our student escorts who will be there for you for the entire duration of the conference. Any issues, please feel free to share it with them. I request everyone to please put your mobile phones on silent mode. As a mark of respect, kindly rise on the arrival of the chief guest, awaiting the arrival of the chief guest.
A very good morning to everyone. On behalf of the director, Major General Sanjeev Verma, staff and students of Yadwindra Public School Patiala, I, Hinam Walia, Head Girl YPS and Director General YPS MUN 2022, consider it a great privilege to extend a very warm and gracious welcome to our Honorable Chief Guest for today, Her Excellency, Mrs. Caroline Robert, Deputy British High Commissioner, Chandigarh. Ma'am, it is a pleasure and an honor to have you here amidst us on the occasion of the opening ceremony of the third edition of the Yadwindra Public School Model United Nations Conference 2022. A very good morning and welcome to YPS Patiala, ma'am. We are privileged to welcome renowned Dr. Sumer Singh, who is also an educational consultant. We extend a very cordial welcome to our esteemed member of the YPS Board of Governors, Colonel RPS Parar, who is also the IOSA president. It is a delight to extend a very happy welcome to Silver Fern Education Consultants, our partners in collaboration with YPS MUN. It is an honor for us to extend a warm welcome to Maharani Praneet Kaur Ma'am, our sincere gratitude to you for taking time out to grace this occasion with your August presence. Good morning, ma'am. A very affable welcome to Mrs. Sakshi Sahani, Deputy Commissioner Patiala, IOSA executives, old Yadwindrians, and teacher escorts. And to our dear delegates, your presence is our strength, your participation we shall cherish. We welcome and thank the members of the press and media for evincing interest to cover this event. Thank you everyone for being a part of YPS MUN 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it gives us immense pleasure to share that this year on the 2nd of February, YPS Patiala completed 74 years of its iconic presence and stepped into its spectacular 75th. As we celebrate the school's journey of glory, eminence, and excellence, we have a plethora of events that will make YPS at 75 go down in the annals of school history as a red letter year. And this journey of ours would have been incomplete without the support and assistance of HSN Yadavindra Old Students Association, popularly known as IOSA. With our old Yadavindrians spread across all corners of the world, IOSA serves as the concrete foundation which builds and solidifies their connect amongst each other and with the present Yadavindrians. IOSA not only develops students as responsible leaders of tomorrow, but also assists the school management in the provision of quality education. The association plays a vital role to make YPS Patiala an institute of excellence, prominence, and unity so as to be second to none. We remain indebted to IOSA for this. Ya Devi Sarv Bhuteshu Matra Rupen Sansthita. Ya Devi Sarv Bhuteshu Shakti Rupen Sansthita. Ya Devi Sarv Bhuteshu Shanti Rupen Sansthita. Ya Devi Sarv Bhuteshu Buddhi Rupen Sansthita. Namasta Se, Namasta Se, Namasta Se, Namo Namha. Durga is deemed to be the creator of this world or Srishti. Durga resides and resonates in all living beings in the form of energy, devotion, peace, dignity, prosperity, and as a facilitator of good over evil. To make an auspicious beginning to this conference and to evoke the blessings of Goddess Durga, four of our Yadvindrian girls present an ode to the feminine soul of power and warmth.
lighting of the lamp has always held a revered importance in the commencement traditions held at YPS Patiala. Tamso Ma Jyotir Gamya, From Darkness to Light, our conference's theme this year aptly gives this tradition an even more hallowed position in the morning's proceedings. The lamp symbolizes the turning of a flicker into a burning bright light of hope and new beginnings. With absolute humbleness, we invoke the blessings of Goddess Saraswati as we embark on this intellectual journey of YPS MUN 2022. May she bless us to make this conference a fair and a successful one. Thank you, ma'am. I request the gathering to please stand for the school song. Thank you. You may please take your seats. Taking the ceremony forward, I now request the school director to kindly address the gathering. A very good morning to each one of you present here. And ma'am, thank you. We are full of gratitude that you've been able to join us here and be the chief guest for us. Thank you so much, Her Excellency Coraline Rowett, ma'am. And thank you, Marani ji, for being amidst us today. And a warm welcome to each of the distinguished guests and, of course, our children who've come from all over the country, be it the West, east, north, or the south. A warm welcome to each one of you, and I hope you all are comfortable in your stray. Any minor hiccups, I apologize at the very outset. Do let us know, we'll take care. Just a few words on the MUN. Uh, remember children, students, that today, the world is rife with a lot of problems be it regional conflicts, be it the status of women and children, it may be economic and social conditions, all these, all these can only be addressed by having a collaborative dialogue and then only will the world find solutions to these problems. And that's where Steps in the UN with its various organizations, organizations who try 
and find solutions for this. And for us, that is at the school, for you children, the ideal platform is the MUN. The MUN gives you a better understanding of the inner working of the United Nations and its various organs. What does it do? It builds the skills in diplomacy, in bargaining, and in compromise, and thereafter taking decisions to put forward to the world to look after and to solve the problems. Yes, it's been told to you a number of times that these MUNs give you the capacity to research, to build up knowledge, and of course, make you excel in public speaking and confidence. But more importantly, what does it do? With the research and the knowledge which you gain, you build up skills in diplomacy, compromise, and decision making at your level to give suggested solutions of how the regional conflicts or issues which affect the world can be solved. Remember, children, being knowledgeable, confident, and believable is only half the battle won. If with your persuasive powers, you can change decision-making, you can contribute towards decision-making, you can become it's the platform to be a strong leader. While I say all this, that how the MUNs help you, remember, it's only done by practice. Practice, practice, and practice. And that is why amidst you, having interacted with you in the last 12 hours, a large number of you have attended a large number of MUNs. The EBs which are going to be there, they go into double figures, okay? And that is where they've gained their experience, their knowledge, and they're here to impart those skills which are required to you all. It's very well said that all this is to be done. Like they say, if you write a lot, you become a good writer. So therefore, if you speak with knowledge and conviction more and more, you become a good speaker. And that's what we in YPS try to achieve that with our children, giving them opportunities to attend as many MUNs that they can. And lastly, I'd just like to mention that today, to excel in the world, you've got to have certain skill sets. All of you, all your heads of schools would have told you this, of the four Cs, very important. But today, what we have to add is the information, media, and the technology literacy, which is prevalent. You have to master that to be an effective leader. The others will continue, things like flexibility, leadership, you know, being, taking initiative, and of course having the social skills. All this, I'm sure each one of you have it, and you are taking time and you're building up the skill sets which I have mentioned. And for this reason, I'm sure the YPS MUN, that's why we have all of you here to contribute towards your building the skill sets. Have a good three days with us. We'll meet you more often. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Striving to honor the vision of our founder, His Highness Maharaj Adhiraj Yadavindra Singh Ji, and keeping in view the ethos of a public school, the curriculum offered here at YPS Patiala has a perfect balance of academics, extracurricular activities, and sports. Coming up next is a short performance which highlights the immense talent that YPS holds. Six of our graceful dancers, vibrantly attired, present Aswar, a traditional form of Garba which depicts the life of the native women of Kutch. 
Empowered in the face of all hardships, a mundane chore of walking miles together to fetch water is a flight of freedom for them, and is turned into a momentous occasion when a thirsty stranger plays the dole in exchange of being given water by the ladies. With their zeal, their value for relations, and their contagious happiness, these women, perfect models of grit and love, have learned to celebrate life every day. This performance will surely add to the much needed happiness quotient over the next three days. Thank you. 
Thank you, girls, for this mesmerizing performance. Helping to overcome the intrinsic fears of public speaking and adopting diplomatic attitudes to hard-pressing global issues, model United Nations instill confidence in young delegates to be vocal of their opinions. In the grand scheme of things, this is precisely what we require our youth to become. Society's panorama is tainted with diverse conundrums, and the silver bullet to each one of them lies within the minds of our youth. MUN serves as a platform to accentuate these very qualities. YPS MUN conferences have always been accredited for their intellectual arguments, negotiations, and scholarly discussions in the MUN circuit. YPS has been hosting MUNs for a long time, and we are back with renewed zeal and enthusiasm to host the third edition of YPS MUN. Presenting before you a short video encompassing a synopsis of the various agendas that the 12 committees will be discussing over the course of this conference. The military is accused of killing thousands of Rohingya, committing widespread rape, and burning down entire villages. Now, a new study says that catastrophic climate change outcomes, including human extinction, are not being taken seriously enough.
Keeping these agendas in mind, we hope that the next three days will be packed with momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, right now on the screen, we have the schedule which we will be following for the next three days. Day one. Day two. And day three. Our chief guest for today, Her Excellency, Mrs. Caroline Robert, became the British Dep Deputy High Commissioner Chandigarh in February 2021. She represents the UK in the four Indian states of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, and Uttarakhand, plus the Union Territory of Chandigarh. Ma'am is a career diplomat with over 30 years experience, both overseas and in London. Her previous postings include France, Indonesia, the Bahamas, and Haiti. In London, she has worked on a range of portfolios, including human rights, Afghanistan, and the British Overseas Territories. Ma'am's most recent overseas assignment was as charge the affair in Haiti, where she represented the UK in the absence of the non-resident ambassador. Ma'am, Thank you so much for accepting our invite and honoring us with your presence. I now request Ma'am, Her Excellency, Mrs. Caroline Robert, to kindly address the gathering. Thank you very much, and good morning. And uh, before I uh, launch into the few words that I've prepared, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to the girls who did the dancing. Uh, amazing dancing, very vivid, uh, colorful, and very brave, I thought, when they were throwing the pots to one another. That was a high risk strategy there, and it paid off. Uh, it was great. And then secondly, the video that we've just seen, very stark very intense and very relevant. I thought it put its messages across very well. So congratulations on that as well. But anyway, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, aspiring young diplomats. It's a great pleasure to be here with you today. My husband happens to be a history and politics teacher, and his students compete in the uh, Model United Nations competition every year. So I feel very at home coming to see you today. And I'm sure your, your um, event will be as exciting and as rewarding as the ones that he takes place, uh, he, he organizes as well. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to experience for yourselves the pressures, challenges, and rewards that come from working in the unique United Nations system. The UN is vast and complex. There is almost no limit to the areas of human activity that it covers, as you also saw in the video just now. The charter that founded the UN was signed in 1945, only three years before the YPS was founded. Over 70 years later, the values of both the UN and YPS remain as important as ever. The common thread that runs through the work of the UN is a firm commitment to improving people's lives, a strong desire to promote equality, and a belief that we can and must strive to make the world a better place, where human rights and the rule of law are respected and we recognize and rejoice in the diversity of global culture. I hope that you will discover over the next few days that nothing is ever achieved without cooperation, understanding, and a willingness to work together to find a solution. Learning how to negotiate to get a mutually, mutually acceptable outcome is a great skill to have, whether you're trying to persuade your friends to go to your choice of restaurant or trying to persuade a country to improve its human rights record. I'm heartened to see such a large and enthusiastic group of young people engaged in global issues. Together, you represent the United Nations as it should be, people coming together to find solutions to problems through constructive debate and an exchange of ideas. 
Many of you will have been asked to represent national agendas or stands that you may personally disagree with. The challenge is to do so fairly and forcefully. This open-mindedness is the essence of successful diplomacy, the ability to understand and analyze all positions, including those that you oppose. I see that the topics you'll be debating over the next few days are very current. You've got human rights there, women's issues, and the war in Ukraine. These are all important topics which are being debated at the UN in New York. They are also very daunting issues. During the next few days, you'll work together to find solutions to some of these problems. It won't be easy, but it will be rewarding. By working together, you'll help to improve the world so that everyone can lead a safer, more prosperous life. I know that you will have worked hard to prepare for today, researching the country that you're representing, researching the issue, writing your position paper, working through your arguments, drafting a resolution. None of this is made up. It's what diplomats at the UN do all the time. You can be catalysts for change as leader of the future, coming up with innovative approaches to help confront the challenges facing the global community. I admire your commitment, and I wish you all a successful and stimulating conference. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. It gives me immense pride to share that this edition of YPS MUN is being hosted in close association with Silver Fern Education Consultants. Founded in 2009, Silver Fern Education Consultants is one of the leading education consultants in India, providing premier international academic counseling and admission services for the past 13 years. We are grateful to Ms. Prabjot Kaur, Director, Silver Fern Education Consultants, and our Chief Advisors, Ms. Meher Mangat and Mr. Abhishek Bindal, for helping us bring this concept into fruition. I now request Ms. Prabjot Kaur to kindly address the gathering. Good morning, everyone. I definitely feel really privileged to be standing in front of such an August gathering. I welcome the Chief Guest, Her Excellency, Ma'am, Maharani Praneet Kaurji, then, of course, all the esteemed members of YPS, Board of Governors, and the participating teams to the third edition of the YPS MUN Conference. We at Silver Fern are extremely proud to be a partner of the YPS MUN 2022. The opening video screened a moment ago has obviously shared all the agendas, which will be the highlight of the YPSMU in 2022. So I shall not talk much about it, and Madam has already said a lot of things about the same. So I would like to take a few minutes to share my thoughts about what you may call behind the scene action. I definitely recall the day when I first entered YPS Patiala with the proposal to provide consultancy services for students to go abroad. I must admit, the idea was to certainly lean towards making a good business model. We stepped in and started with our work. It was when we launched our unique experiment of having a permanent career desk in the school premises that I began to know the students better. I discovered that the students had great potential and the school tries to provide each and every opportunity to help them hone their skills. In the meantime, the pandemic happened and the NEP policy also surfaced. To cut the long story short, suddenly the education world and the world at large woke up to the need for soft skills and employability issues. This is when, from a mere business model, I revamped my team's approach. If we were to achieve our targets to get the best fits for the students, we had to look beyond 
conducting the psychometric testing and analyzing the results. We had to hold hand with the institution and work towards influencing and shaping the personality of the students. That is why we partnered with the school for the MUN. It is indeed a great honor for us, and this is something which will be close to my, life, close to my heart throughout my life. A conference of this nature is a perfect platform for grooming the students for real life roles. And we constructed a working model where all the organizing work would be handled by the students. In spite of the numerous odds, this are a break in most residential schools, the chock block calendar of YPACE itself with round the clock activities, half yearly exams, inter school competitions, trekking, mountaineering, the students of the organizing committee put in immense effort and the result is in front of you all. I travel a lot and have been associated with the best of schools in the country. And I am proud to say my mentor, Dr. Sumer Bahadur Singh, former principal Delhi College and president of the Boarding Schools Association of India, you know, has been always guiding me. Thank you, sir, for always guiding me, advising me, and taking me through here. Today, I can say with conviction, having experienced it myself, the students of YPS Patiala are amongst the best in the country. To gauge a school for what it is teaching its student as a matter of morals and character, one needs to look beyond the present students. I am sure you all have guessed by now I am referring to the alumni. YPS alumni remains connected with the alma mater and offer commendable service to the school. I roped in a former head girl and sought approval for her to be one of the two advisors for the conference. I certainly don't regret the decision. You have made this MUN you know, more memorable for me. Meher Mangat, head girl, 2018, says that every bit of her personality has been shaped by the countless opportunities she got in YPS to hone the soft skills. She reflected those in her exemplary organizational skills during the preparatory sessions for the conference. Now, she's someone who's recently passed out, but look at the wonderful connect with the alumni, which has been maintained over the past years. Colonel Raviinder Singh Barar, the president of the Alumni Association and the executive body has been very supportive. Thank you so much, sir, for the same. YPACE is indeed fortunate to have a wonderful Alumni Association, which is so encouraging in all the endeavors. Before proceeding further, I would like to give a quick note of thank you to the students organizing committee members Due to paucity of time, I shall not be able to take all names, but each team was outstanding and has worked diligently, be it registrations, logistics, conference services, accounts, technical support, photography, public relations, international press, or food and beverages. Thank you all for working in accord and seamlessly putting the work together. I would like to thank the two teacher coordinators Mrs. Pallavi Sharma and Mrs. Sukman Rao and the staff members who are going to help the student organizing committee throughout the conference. I must mention Abhishek Bindal, the advisor for the conference for carefully selecting an able executive board and working diligently. Also for tirelessly accompanying me from Chandigarh almost each and every day along with Fateh. Thank you to both of you as well. I must, men I must also make a mention of two steady supporters whom I personally relied on for a lot of things, especially when things stalled or needed a push. Thank you to the Deputy Headmaster, Mr. Bajaj, for holding my hand, especially at the most crisis situation, and Mrs. Ashti Mangat for always easing out our work with your calmness and poise. Thank you so much. And most important, I must thank the school director for entrusting me with this responsibility in the first place. Sir, I hope I did not let you down. Thank you so much. To conclude, I hope that each one of you utilizes this platform, not just to add your resumes, but to bring real change in the future. Have the courage to speak the truth, stand up for what is right, and demand change from your elected representatives. I quote Nelson Mandela here, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we make to the life of others that will determine the significance of the lives we lead. 
If YPSMU in 2022 motivates you to become the best version of yourselves, then there is no bigger success for it. I wish each and every delegate the best for the next three days of deliberations and regardless of the eventual results. In our eyes, each and every one of you is already our winner for being a participant of an event which endeavors to contribute towards a better future. Thank you so much all and God bless you. Thank you so much, ma'am. The executive board is that crucial component of an MUN which serves to hold together the various committees. Composed of individuals possessing great merit and skill, it serves to moderate the speeches of the delegates, hone them for the future, and judge them on the basis of their capabilities. Truly, the executive board is the sine qua non of an MUN. I would now request the executive board members to come up on stage together as and when their names and committees are announced. I humbly request our school director to kindly do the honors of presenting the gavels to the chairs of the various committees. So please. Starting off with the United Nations General Assembly, the UNGA, which would be formulating measures to tackle terrorism in the Middle East. We could not have Mr. Shreya Nagarath due to some personal emergency, so we have Mr. Abhishek Bindal as the chairperson of the UNGA. With more than 100 MUNs to his credit, he is also the chief advisor for YPS MUN 2022. Tejas Sareen, Vice Chairperson. Having participated in over 40 MUNs, presently he is a second year law student at the University of Institute of Legal Studies, Chandigarh. <laughs> Coming up next is the United Nations Security Council, which shall discuss in gravitas the Ukraine-Russia conflict. We have Mr. Dhruv Sood. We have Mr. Karan Pavaria, Vice President, an economics graduate from the University of Delhi, 60 MUNs and parliamentary debates to his credit. He is awaiting to join training as an assistant commandant in the Central Armed Police Forces after being, being selected by the UPSC. The United Nations Human Rights Council, the UNHRC, shall talk about the third generational solidarity rights. We have Mr. Sanat Puri, the president, who is currently pursuing his PGDM from Cardiff Metropolitan University, UK, and has been a part of the MUN circuit for over a decade. <laughs> Mr. Siddharth Sharma, vice president, with a bachelor's in technology from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh, and a participation of 50 MUNs in his basket, he is currently working as a consultant at United Airlines. Mr. Lohitak Chopra, director, an alumnus of the YPS Patiala, he has participated in more than 20 MUNs and is currently pursuing computer sciences at Chandigarh University. The United Nations Committee on Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, or the UN COPUS, shall take up colonization on Mars and the allocation of its resources. We have Mr. Mukul Bhatia, the chairperson, with a master's in international politics from South Asian University, Delhi, participation in over 50 MUN conferences. He's presently working at GenPact. <laughs> Ms. Mansha Sharma, Vice Chairperson, a 12th grader at St. Soldiers International School, Chandigarh, Mansha has attended over 40 MUNs as a chair and as a delegate. In the current global backdrop where women's rights are being thwarted day by day, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or the OIC, shall galvanize its delegates to discuss a plan of action for the advancements of women. 
Coming on stage, we have Mr. Pranav Joshi, the chairperson, pursuing B.Tech from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh. He has participated in more than 50 MUNs across the country. Now we have Mr. Kamar Sidhu, Vice Chairperson, an alumnus of YPS Patiala with participation in famed MUNs. He is moving to the US for his undergraduation. Now we have the African Union or the AU, which will be reviewing which will be reviewing Agenda 2063 that encapsulates Africa's aspirations for the future and its social economic development. We have Mr. Siddharth Kapoor, the chairperson, a BA LLB graduate with over 250 MUNs to his credit. He is currently working as an assistant manager for program delivery at Hagudarshak. Mr. Jivtej Singh Grover, Vice Chairperson, a second year student of Business Administration at DAV College. He has participated in almost 40 MUNs. And now over to Hinumbalia. Our next committee is G20, an intergovernmental forum which shall seek to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement and strengthen the global response to climate change. Our chairperson for this committee is Ms. Samriddhi Seth. With more than 60 MUNs to her credit, she is a final year law student at the Army Institute of Law. <laughs> Next, we have Ms. Bhavya Sangri, our vice chairperson for this committee. With exceptional debating skills up her sleeve, Ms. Bhavya is a law student at the University Institute of Legal Studies, Chandigarh. A historical crisis committee, Lahore session 1929, will empower the delegates to look at crises from a historical lens and discuss a plan of action to attain independence from British rule. For this committee, Mr. Nishkarsh Bareja will serve as the moderator, a computer science engineer presently working with Zykus as the senior business development executive. Mr. Uday Singh Chima as the deputy moderator, an alumnus of YPS Patiala and University Institute of Legal Studies with participation in 50 MUNs, presently a legal practitioner at the Punjab and Haryana High Court. <laughs> Up next, our novel committee, La Casa de Papel, shall be simulated from the popular Netflix show, Money Heist where the delegates have to use their critical thinking and knowledge of the show to handle unprecedented crises. The EB for this committee comprises Mr. Vardhan Seth, moderator. I'll move on to the next committee. In light of increasing social disparities, all India political parties meet, AIPPM, shall aim to discuss the Uniform Civil Code Bill and rise of communal violence in our nation. We have Mr. Dharminder Singh Kalika as the moderator. An alumnus of YPS Patiala, he was the founder secretary general of YPS MUN. He is a graduate in law and political science from Symbiosis International University, Pune. Ms. Yashika Billa, deputy moderator, is a third year sociology honor student pursuing her graduation from ST College Chandigarh and has been a part of the MUN circuit for a long time. Sri Lankan Ministerial Cabinet, or the SMC, is a specialized committee that will tackle the stark economic crisis that Sri Lanka recently faced. Mr. Rahul Singh Kajla, moderator, is an activist, educator, and political analyst who is currently serving as a spokesperson of the Indian Youth Congress. <laughs> Mr. Shubham Yadav, deputy moderator, is a student at Department of Laws pursuing his bachelor's in law and has participated in more than 30 MUNs. <laughs> World Trade Organization, or the WTO, shall seek to analyze the influence of international relations on policies concerning world trade. We have Ms. Shivali Shreshtha as the chairperson, 
With over 60 MUNs in her basket, she is currently pursuing her bachelor's in international relations from Amity University. Ms. Kurmeh Grewal, Vice Chairperson. With an honors in English, she is an aspiring law student having chaired various MUN conferences. <laughs> Last but not the least, the international press, which shall be documenting all conference proceedings through photographs, editorials, and caricatures, among others. We have Mr. Mayank Bhatia as the head of international press. He has participated in more than 80 MUNs. <laughs> Ms. Sia Pasi as the editor-in-chief. A final year student of fashion designing at the NIFT Mohali, she has done about 50 MUN conferences as the editor-in-chief. Mr. Fateh Grewal, Head of Photography, a Class 12th student at St. John's High School, Chandigarh. He is a professional photographer and videographer with over two years of experience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right now on the stage, we have the executive board for 12 committees. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I now call upon Sarvagya Dev Thaplial, Secretary General, YPS MUN 2022, to declare the conference open. By the power vested in me, I, Sarvagya Dev Thaplial, Secretary General, YPS MUN 2022, declare the conference open. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the rest of the Secretariat. We have Hinam Walia, the Director General. <laughs> Ikisha Aluwalia, Deputy Director General. Udevir Singh Shergil, Head of Operations. Nimar Sidhu, Chief of Staff. And Trishleen Kaur, our convener. I now request the school director to present a token of our gratitude and respect to our chief guest. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. I request you all to rise for the national anthem. Shubh naam e jaage Tav 
Thank you so much. I request everyone to proceed for tea. The delegates to my right, please use the exits on your left, whereas the rest of them kindly use the back exits. Have a good day. <laughs>